Oh, look at that. You might think this is a local duck pond, but actually we're in the woods and this duck is right beside a vernal pool. This is a vernal pool. A vernal pool is very interesting because it's not here all year like a pond or a lake. It forms in a little depression in the ground or a low-lying area of the ground during the winter months and it gets filled up with ice and snow and then when spring comes all the water melts as the weather gets warmer and there is a cool little pool or pond that plays a very important role in keeping our habitat diverse. These um, ponds or vernal pools are very important because this is where the frogs mate and lay their eggs and the salamanders too. In fact, there's a very special night, some people call it the big night, that happens in the springtime right around this time of year where it starts to warm up and we have a lot of rain and then it signals all of the creatures, even the fairy shrimp of the, ver of the vernal pool, that it's time to begin the their cycles again. Right. It's kind of fun to look for frog eggs and um, other living creatures that might be in the vernal pool during the day, but be sure to wear your boots and don't wander in too far because the surface, uh, the bottom, is very uneven and you could easily step into a very deep hole and lose a boot. But also, a great time to come is at night. If you come around just when it's getting dark, you'll hear the wood frogs croaking and the spring peepers making their very special noise. There's a lot of fun noises. Can you hear all those birds? There's birds and a whole lot yeah. more that make their habitat in and around the vernal pool in the spring. But the vernal pool does not stay here after spring is over. In the summertime, it dries up and if you come back here again in July, it will be gone completely without a trace. But all the eggs of the frogs and salamanders would have hatched and they're all out roaming the woods. Now sometimes a vernal pool can form but not have any species yet. We've been checking this one for the last couple of years in the spring looking for eggs and other maybe fairy shrimp and other things that will tell us that wetland organisms are breeding in here. They can 